Hi, today I would like to tell you about the application process of seeking refugee status in Australia. It is important that you understand each and every stage properly and that you seek legal help for each and every stage. I'll explain in simple language four different stages of the application process, but remember the information I'm giving you is not legal advice. If you arrive in Australia and believe that you're a refugee, and if you require protection, you can apply for a protection visa. If you need help to understand if you are a refugee, you can go to the section, who is a refugee in this website. The first stage is to make an application for a protection visa to the Department of Immigration and Citizenship. You may hear people call this the DIAC. To do this, you need to Complete the Form 866. The title on the form is Application for a Protection Visa, Class XA. You can find this form on the DIAC website, www.ime.gov.au, or ask your lawyer or migration agent to help you find the form. Prepare a statement of claim with supporting documentation. You'll also need to pay a $30 application fee. Have your fingerprints and photograph taken. The DIAC will use these fingerprints and photos to do checks about you, for example, to find out if you have traveled to other countries and undergo a health and character check. You are normally asked to attend an interview with an officer from DIAC after they have looked at all your forms and information. There is really helpful information on what happens in the interview and how to prepare on this website. If your application at this stage is successful, you will receive a protection visa and you do not have to go to any of the following stages. If your application is not successful at the first stage, then there are three more possible stages for your case. The second stage is called the Refugee Review Tribunal, also called RRT. You can go to the RRT if DIAC refuses to grant you a protection visa. You have the right to ask the RRT to look at your case again. The RRT can look at your case with fresh eyes and they will look at all the information and make a decision on your case. The RRT can make a different decision to the DIAC. At this stage, you'll have to attend a hearing and explain your claims again to the tribunal member. If the Refugee Review Tribunal gives you a positive decision, they will send your case back to DIAC to process and grant you a protection visa. The RRT cannot actually grant you this visa themselves. If the Refugee Review Tribunal gives you a negative decision, you may have further options at the Federal Magistrates Court or with the Minister for Immigration and Citizenship. Let's look at those options now. The third stage is to make an application to the Federal Magistrates Court. If the RRT has rejected your case and there was a legal error in the decision, you can lodge an application with the Federal Magistrates Court. Legal error is a technical term. In simple terms, it means that there was a mistake in the way that RRT applied the law. This court stage can be very expensive and is based on technical legal argument. You should definitely try to get legal advice and support. It's important to understand that the role of the Federal Magistrates Court is not to assess if you are a refugee. The Federal Magistrates Court's only role is to decide if there was an error in the way your case was decided. You can only make this application for very specific legal reasons and so it is important to get a lawyer to help you decide if you should make an application at this stage. If you are successful, then your case would go back to the Refugee Review Tribunal for another hearing. If you are unsuccessful, you can go to stage 4. The fourth stage of the process is to apply for ministerial intervention to allow you to remain in Australia permanently. This involves asking the Minister for Immigration and Citizenship directly if they will intervene in your case. The Minister may intervene for one of two reasons. If you can demonstrate unique and exceptional circumstances in your case, or if there is a new and significant evidence of relevance to your refugee case. If you reach the end of this process and have been refused a protection visa, you will be expected to leave Australia. If you want to know more about what happens when you are expected to leave, then please take a look at the information about leaving Australia on this website. I hope that I have helped to make the process simple and clear to understand. To get further help, you can look at the website. Also, please talk to a lawyer 
or a migration agent to get further help or advice about your case.